you have the Ace of Pentacles. So it's going to be a new beginning that is going to lead you to your happiness when it comes to abundance, finances, the money. This can be a very long-lasting energy that you're creating. Hi Libra, welcome. Let's do a money and finances reading for you. See how things are going. Okay. Please only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. And you might check your other placements for a more complete picture or if this doesn't resonate with you. Okay. All right. It's saying here that there's something that you need to finish. Yeah. Uh, it's, it can be anything. We'll get more to find out. But there is something that you need to complete before you go on to something else. Okay. Wonderful. Happy, happy. So when you get that completed, it looks like things are going to be good. And interesting, when this card comes out, why is it not completed? Is it just not completed yet? Or is it something you're not wanting to do? There are, you know, many reasons why this could be here. To the sea. What ends up happening with this is you're going to be very happy and content. It's being in the flow with the universe. Time of contemplation, potentially. But it results in a beautiful flow. Okay. Let's get one more. Round and round. Okay. It kind of feels like you have been in some sort of a loop, some sort of a pattern. Maybe that's what the Unfinished Symphony is all about. That it's time to get out of some pattern that you've been in. Mm hmm Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, I'm going to take this because I think it is very helpful. This is saying that any point that you need help, it is here for you. It's either on the spirit, spiritual side or here in the earthly plane, whichever. You have help to get through this. So yeah, it looks like some pattern that you've been repeating. You need to get out of it. And I think that's what this is, but we'll get more. And the way to do this is to zoom out and see the bigger picture. All right. Then you get a clearer vision of what's been going on. which means you know how to make the changes. And it's going to end up with you being very happy. And it looks like you need to go within, which would make perfect sense, because if it's a pattern that you're repeating, that is definitely coming from within you. All right, let's see what your overall energy is. You cannot get any better than this. The sun. The sun is coming in for you. Fabulous. Very best in the deck. So <laughs> you have your overall energy is the best it can be. So that makes me feel like this is not going to be a big issue. You're going to be able to create these changes. You have two of the best cards this is one of the best in this deck, and this is the best in the tarot. So whatever this pattern is, you're definitely changing it. Okay, let's see what we have here. Five of Cups, or something that you've been feeling bad about. Uh, it could be something you've been doing, something that happened to you. Oftentimes, it is something in the past. It could be anywhere in the past. It could be yesterday, right? But something that's make, making you feel grief or sadness. And it's coming out under your um, Unfinished Symphony. Beautiful. Here's where you're creating change. You are passionate about something. 
there's something you want to do, you know, changes you want to make. And here's where you're strategizing. You know, how are you going to go forward with this? And you can see here, it could also indicate travel, literally. But it's definitely travel when it comes to changing patterns, the way you're doing things. And you might very well be leaving something behind, and I'm sure you are because this pattern is leaving. The unfinished symphony will be gone. And when I first started reading this, you know, is there something you need to finish? And it is, but it's not like a project. It is a way of being. Okay. Beautiful. The King of Wands. So whatever this is, you're very passionate about it. And that would be too. Nobody likes being stuck in a pattern. The King of Wands, he goes for his passion, and he definitely tends to get it. And you see the lion in the background, there's much strength here. So you're very strong and passionate about going forward. You will do great. Oh, look at this. Now you have the Queen and King. And she's the same way. She goes for her passion. She's very bold, very adamant. So you have a lot of strength here in creating this change. And at the bottom of the deck, perfect, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So it's going to be a new beginning that is going to lead you to your happiness when it comes to abundance, finances, the money. And you see these roots. This can be a very long-lasting energy that you're creating. So whatever this is, I think it is beautiful. Here you're getting out of the challenge, the feeling bad. Here you're making the plans, happiness going for your passion in a very bold way, which is bringing about a new beginning. So it looks like you're going to be starting something new that's going to benefit you greatly. Mm-hmm. Love this. All right. Let's get a little more. Okay, this is a interesting card. It is a card of nostalgia. And the Five of Cups is like regrets or guilt or something from the past. And here, it's about potentially the past. And here is patterns, you know, something that you've been doing repeatedly. So, this could have to do with either somebody or something that you've been doing potentially say you had an idea when you were young you wanted to do this thing you know be this profession and um maybe you didn't do it and it's coming back mm -hmm. either the person or the idea but it could also say that you've been doing this for a very long time and it's time for change that's definitely what i think is going on and it's brought with it at least currently some challenging emotions either of guilt or sadness regrets things like that but if you look at this energy, some cups are still full. So it's saying that you have something awesome that's yours, that's waiting for you to get out of this challenging energy and go forward. So to me, this part right here is a huge part of this reading. Now, over here, 
It's got to do with patterns. So it looks like they've been going on for a long time. But you are definitely getting out of that energy and going forward to your sunshine, to your abundance. And you're very determined and adamant. Okay, here is the hermit. The two of wands... You know, you're thinking about how to go forward. The hermit is going within using their intuition and wisdom to gain the enlightenment that they want. So it's just perfectly in line. You are figuring it out. Going forward, you're taking action. Going towards what it is that you love. And it's bringing you the will of fortune. So it's like a just like a story here. Yeah, you are getting out of this pattern, whatever it is, going for what you love, which is bringing you a fortunate new beginning, and this new beginning in Pentacles. So finances are going to really improve, and it's going to be something that you love that you really want. The changes are going to be wonderful. From feeling like this to the sun and the wheel of fortune. Yeah, big changes are coming in. And at the bottom of the deck from taking that, you have strength. And remember here is a lion. So you have two mentions of you being strong. You can do this thing. Not a problem. Huge change, and it's a wonderful change. I mean, look at all those stars and the happiness and the sun. Will of Fortune coming in. Yeah. Definitely. Big changes and for the better. The lovers. So that what this is saying is you have to make the decision, right? You can be presented with the options, but you have to make the decision to go forward or not. You know, free will and all, right? But according to this, you're definitely making the decision to create the change. Now you have the King of Swords. So you're basing this on your truth, which is the very best thing to do because it will have stick to it And it also means that you're able to see the truth. Here, this is confirmation of the challenge. It could be either repeating patterns of hurt or you know, something being unclear. And I, it could be both. I definitely think something has been unclear because you've been repeating the patterns. And if you, you know, saw the pattern and it was a challenging pattern, you most likely wouldn't have stayed in it, right? Okay, beautiful. Now you have the full. That is brand new, big beginning. And it's saying, have fun. Make it exciting. Enjoy the process. You know, the new you, right? Mm-hmm. Will of Fortune's coming in. Major Arcana. The Fool, Major Arcana. Strength, Major Arcana. The Sun, your overall energy. It's going to be a fantastic change for you. Okay, let's... See what the spirit animals would like to share. Reclaim your power. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so maybe. You've been going through cycles of where you have not felt empowered. 
you know, so if that's the case, it makes it very hard to be all you can be, right? To do what's in your heart and have the confidence to go forward in it. So this could be saying that has been the issue, that you need to fill whole, reclaim your power, learn from the past. Mm-hmm. Yeah, perfect. Think back, use your intuition and your wisdom and realize what's been going on with these cycles so you can create that change. Oh my gosh, look at this. Last card. You have the, a lion three times now. So this is saying you are very strong, okay? You got it three times. It gives me chills when this came out. I had chills all over. You're very, very strong, but something has happened to you in your past where you didn't feel strong, and it's kind of stuck with you. You need to definitely let this go because according to this, you are very powerful, very strong. You have so much um, opportunity and so much that you can contribute to the world and to yourself. You've yeah, you've got to reclaim your power because you're very, very strong. You can do that. Look back to the past and see what the problem was and how to change it. And remember, your support system is here for you, okay? Any help you need, you've got it. But dang, you are strong. Okay, um... Do you remember this? I think it's really important. This is going to be a huge shift for you. Happiness is going to be here. The love. Your dreams coming true. You remember here. Happy, happy, and look at all the stars. And that's wishes coming true. Okay, let's get a charm or two to close this out. Absolutely beautiful. Changes. Ah. Now we just finished it off with the best thing ever. Those are angel wings. So that's saying that during this time, the angels are always with you, but during this time, you have a special protection. Mm hmm Which will help you. And it is also your support system on the angelic side. But you are so protected. Work on this. Dang, that's beautiful. And here you have a baby buggy. And for me, that's saying two things. One, because of this card here, it can be saying that whatever this pattern is has been around for a long, long time. Okay? And if you're not sure what the pattern is, you might have to look way back. Either that and or whatever... It is when you break free of this cycle, you know, this card here of going for what you're passionate about, and you have the king and queen of wands going for your passion. Whatever this is, is something that is extremely precious to you. Wow, what a reading. Okay, thank you so much. I hope this helps. Much love. Bye.